Well, once again, we are in the parking lot, but this time, rigging up the bikes, here with Cody and Cody. West side to east side, let's do it. The steed, the trusty steed today. Cody and Cody are backcountry crushers. Cody Coxon is a ski patroller at our local mountain in Whitefish. Cody Moore is an ultra marathon runner. They are total badasses, and we've been on some pretty rad lines in the past together. Ready to see the sickest side slipping you've ever seen? On this mission, we're loading up our bikes to embark on a 37 mile journey into Glacier National Park. We will bike as far as the plowed road will take us, then skin up and over the east side of the Continental Divide to ride two different glaciers. We will then retrace our steps and ride back down the west side of the divide to our starting point. putting on the skins and skis here. Start our journey upwards into the mountains. Well, we started out on snow, which is kind of nice. A lot better than dirt. We're uh, 5,700 feet, so we got about just under 2K to go, 1,800 feet or so. Nice. And probably about two miles. Kind of cut straight across this basin here. Um, pretty flat for a bit, and then we'll hit the Highline Trail and do the last thousand feet of climbing up to the lookout. Cool, right on. We're just booting our way up to the saddle and then we're gonna drop down the other side, ski the glacier, then come back up and over the saddle and then back down to the bikes way down there. What are we looking at right here? Uh, the inside of a ping pong ball, man. We are at the top of uh, the line we're hoping to ski today, but uh, Visibility is about 20 feet on the other side of the Continental Divide here. So we, uh, we probably have to give it some time or make a decision in a little bit whether we wanna, what we wanna do with our day. Well, we've been here for over half an hour waiting for this fog to roll out so we can see where we're actually gonna be riding. It's very variable. We're getting little spots here and there, but still looking quite foggy. We're just going to continue to wait it out and hopefully get our window. Well, there's ski, there's ski turns into this. Is that what this is right here? Yeah. It looks like. Well, poor visibility. The first pitch looks uh, pretty manageable with what we got. So we're going to go ahead and ski it and uh, the next pitch down. It doesn't look open, we won't do it, but if the visibility is good, we'll uh, probably do some more skiing down low. Well, we have made the decision to drop in. One at a time. Visibility is about zero chairs, based on the Whitefish Mountain Resort scale. All work, no play. Let's do it. All work, no play model company. <laughs> Yeah. 
is so chill. Yeah, look at that sun burning it up. Well, fun while it lasts today. Well, we took the gamble and it worked out really well because now we're down here on the glacier. Things are starting to warm up, so we're gonna make a quick transition and head back up to the ridge and shred back down to the bikes. Of course, as soon as we drop into our line and get to the bottom, the clouds all clear, gets nice and sunny. We didn't even see the top of the run. It was about a ping pong ball five minutes ago. So yeah, we're making our way back up to the notch, we're trying to make our way safely back over before the sun affects the snow too much. But wow, I'm in absolute total awe of this place around me just makes you feel like a tiny human in a big world. The scale of these mountains is mind boggling. These sheer cliffs, glaciers, it's a whole nother world. Feels like we went over that saddle and entered a portal into a different dimension. Unreal. about a thousand, a little over a thousand feet of vert, and then we're biking downhill. Yeah. Look at this legend. Oh yeah, I just change shoes and jump on the bike. It's all downhill from here. Are we gonna rip this? These are the kinds of adventures that solidify my passion for getting outside. Biking, sliding on snow, spending time with good people, and experiencing an amazing place like Glacier National Park made this a memorable day. Crossing over the Continental Divide using our own power was just the icing on the cake. <laughs> 